All right, guys, today we are talking about the simple tack switch, a phenomenon known as bouncing and a little programming technique called debouncing. So first, let's go over the setup. We got a tack switch plugged in here. And on one side of the tack switch, we are giving it five volts. On the other side of the switch, we have it hooked to D3 and also pulled via a 10K resistor to ground. That's called a pull down resistor. So when that switch is not being pressed, D3 is at ground. But when you press the switch, D3 goes high. It goes from logic low of zero volts to logic high of about five volts. Now, what we would expect to happen is that when we press that switch, the Arduino is going to read one press of the switch. But that's not the case because the switches are mechanical and they involve springs and metallic contacts. One press of the switch might give you 40 to 50 actual contacts and you don't need that digital read bouncing around 40 to 50 times. See, that's where the term bouncing comes from. So we are going to debounce it. Let's head over to the computer and have a look at just how easy it is to do that. All right, let's take a look at a simple sketch to read the button press. So we define the button as digital pin three and we declare an integer variable called button press. And we'll set its initial value to zero, which is where we have it, logic low. Now down here in setup, we set our button, which remember we set as three up here, to output. And we turn on the serial comms so that we can observe what happens. Now down in our main loop, we get the value for button press by doing a digital read of button. And then we say if button press equals one, then we're going to print out the word bang. All right, so what you would think would happen is that when you press the button, the word bang is going to appear one time, right? Let's check it out. That was one press of the button. You wanna count those? I don't, but let's say one, two, three, four, five, ten. 15, 20, there's about 40 bangs there. Here, we'll do it again. That's about a half a second press. So that is serious bounce. Now we can fix that incredibly simply with just a little bit of code. So let's bring this up. Give me a second. There we go. Now all that we have done, everything here is the same. Define button press, define button as digital three, declare an integer button press, button is set for output, serial on. And here's where we were before. Button press and we say if button press equals one. Now here is where we actually debounce it. Now we're saying if button press equals one, then delay for 50 seconds. I'm talking about delay for 50 milliseconds. Then do it again. Read the button press again. If it's zero, which means the button has been pressed and released, then we print bang. Then we have a little else statement down here for when the button is not pressed. It just delays for 100 milliseconds and restarts the loop. So let's take a look at what happens now. And I press the button. Oh, well, probably first I should actually send that code to the Arduino, huh? 
so we're not running the old one. I'm getting old. The mine's not as good as it used to be. A little forgetful here and there. Uh, in the meantime, take a look at this um, shot of what the bounce looks like, or what bouncing looks like on the scope. All right, let's take a look at what happens when you press the button under the scope. You see the different waveforms? All right, let me change the trigger here to a single shot and we can get a better look. All right. If you look here, you can see where we go up and down through all of this. This is the bounce. And this is what happens when you press the button because, like I said, it's mechanical. It makes and breaks contacts a whole bunch of times in there. And that's why we need to debounce our switches. Alright, so that gave you a little bit better idea of what the bounce looks like on the oscilloscope. So now you can see our code is uploaded. Let's open the serial window and try again. Now I'm going to do about the same press, about a half second. You see we get one bang. Even if I hold it for a second, one one thousand, we're still getting just the one bang. And that's debouncing a switch. And it's a necessary evil, but now that you know how to do it, you never have to worry about it again. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, share, and if you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you waiting for?